Hello everyone and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing video and today we're going to be unboxing the Rivals of Harrowdeep and the Exiled Dead, the two latest expansions for Warhammer Underworld's Harrowdeep. Um, I'm super excited for these, um, I've been looking forward to the Exiled Dead ever since they were shown off um, a couple of months ago and yeah we've got the Rivals of Harrowdeep as well which has got the Stormcast and the Cruel Boys that we first saw in the Harrow Deep uh, intro box set or starter box set. So let's give you a flip over. Uh, so as you can see on the back, we've got um, all the Cruel Boys in their green plastic, Stormcast in the blue, and then obviously the Exiled Dead in sort of like a, a, a whitey sort of grey sort of colour. Um, and obviously you can see on the back um, all the cards and contents of these boxes. Um, the Rivals of Harrow Deep, <clears throat> pardon me, is basically all the Stormcast and Cruel Boys from the starter set without any of the rule books or any of the tokens or any, any of the board sections or anything like that. It is literally just the two um, packs uh, in here. Um, you do get their rival decks. You don't get any of the um, additional cards that you got in the starter box um but yeah if you want to pick up the stormcast and the cruel boys um to play rivals then this pack is perfect um the exile dead um you still get the um rivals deck but you also get another additional pack of cards so without further ado let's get unboxing so we're going to start with the exile dead um, as you can see, nice little box. Obviously, it's got um, sort of how to build it and stuff on the side. Um, just jump straight in. And here we go. So here is the sprues. As you can see, it's kind of like a, a whitey grey sort of colour. Um, really nice looking sprues. And again, despite the fact that this warband's got seven models, there's not a lot of components to it. Um, and again, you've got a really nice scenic base with almost like a um, stone floor. Um, yeah, really, really, really nice. Um, go through the other one. So, yeah, we get to see a bit more of the um, sort of zombie aspect. You know, we get to see the, the big arm with the massive electrodes and stuff that was first shown off ages ago in the teaser for this warband. And again... You know, the, the, the amount of detail on these bases, like there's a little rat here on one of the bases, which is super, super cool. Uh, just to flick over, again, there's not a lot of bits. Um, you know, this one is literally um, but the model, the electrode bit that goes in his back and the base. You know, nice and easy to build. Um, really looking forward to that. And then, obviously, in the box, we also get the instruction guide on how to build them. And again, like I said, not a lot of components to these uh, to this warband, um, which is nice to see. You know, quick and easy to build, quick and easy to get on the table. Um, and then we get two decks of cards. Uh, again, first deck is the Rivals deck that you can use for playing Rivals. And again, we get a little intro card into what the warband is up and why they're in Harrow Deep, what they're up to, that sort of thing. And then we get um, all the character cards um, for all members of your warband. Um, the cool thing about these is there is a new keyword for them called conductive, which is basically all of the zombies. Um, and they start the game inspired, which is very interesting, very, very cool. Um, and again, yeah, the, the artwork on these cards are just amazing. Um, you know, it's so, so cool. Uh, and again, obviously, you know, you get the little symbol top right to show that it's a rival card. That it belongs to this deck. Um, and yeah, there's a decent amount of ploys. Um, decent amount of spells as well for your vampire to cast. Um, and a lot of upgrades. Um, and then... Um, 12 objective cards which is standard um, again all themed around the deck very very cool again the artwork is absolutely amazing 
Um, I love that it shows off uh, members from other war bands as well. It's very funny. Um, yeah, super, super, super cool. Really, really nice. Um, if you want to check out the actual cards and stuff, go over to Sprues and Brews. Um, dot com find the review um, and there will be detailed review on all the cards in there um, again you get a nice little intro deck with additional cards now if you're playing rivals um, from what I understand you can't use these cards in rival format but if you're just playing normal normal games and stuff like that they're perfectly fine um, so we get some faction specific ones so you can only give this one to like a death faction for example like the exile of dead uh, the vampire one that that sort of stuff um, and there's a decent amount of cards to choose from um, I believe there are 12 upgrades uh, 12 ploys or it might be 11 11 ploys 11 upgrades um, and then a couple of objective cards as well again if you're into your underworlds and you want a complete collection of these cards and stuff it's great to pick up these boxes just to get the additional cards for your warbands and stuff. Obviously, if you only play Rivals format, then you, you're not going to be using these. But again, it's still good good to have. Um, again, check out the review on Sprues and Brews. And, you know, we'll go through all of these cards together. So that is the Exiled Dead unboxing. Um, I'll just have a look at the rivals so looking at the rivals of harrody box um again you know you just got some artwork and stuff on the sides and again a brief rundown of you know building them select your cards defeat your warband you know just basic stuff really um so let's pop this open and again similar to the exile dead you get a nice little instruction guide and um, just goes through all the war bands, all the members. Again, nice little rundown. Underworld war bands are nice and easy to build. They don't take too long, which is always nice. Um, and then you get a very distinctive oh pop. Nice little green plastic. Um nice little green plastic just showing off the crew was again. This is the exact same sprue that came in the Harrow Deep um box set. So, you know, very cool, very nice. Um, might have to fight the plastic to get them out. And here we go. Again, the Stormcast and stuff is all um, the same stuff we've been used to. Came in Harrowdeep. Again, super, super nice. Can't wait to get these built and painted. So then we have the cards and again the cards are and the decks and stuff are exactly the same as the normal harrow deep um you only get the rivals deck in this box so again if you're looking for additional cards you'll have to see if you can pick up a harrow deep box set for them um and again show off you know cunning crew again it's just the rival decks um but it's super cool. Again, the artwork is absolutely breathtaking on these cards. Um, you know, they, they really outdo themselves on the artwork and stuff. Uh, and even the new design with the, the color code and you know, the backing and all that sort of stuff. It's really, really nice what they're doing with these cards in Harrow Deep. And yeah, so like I said, you only get the rival decks for both these factions. But if you're like me and you only really play rivals, then, you know, it's super, super good. So yeah, that's the unboxing of the Exile Dead and the Rivals of Harrow Deep. Thanks for watching.